Hi everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Another Dutch pour. I'm on a roll. Okay. Check in. And I got a 10 by 10 gallery wrapped. And I got my torch. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cover my canvas with white. Now, to practice, you can blow the white around and see how it moves. See, on low, it's moving. moves faster when it's on high, but the pattern's different on the waves. So I'm going to try to do this on low when I blow the colors. I think it makes more of a flowery, petally look. Let's get all my corners. Wait. Pop some bubbles real quick. Okay, now this time I want to create a little negative space on the left. I'm thinking that. So I'm going to go ahead and put some paint right here. Okay. All right. Now, what am I going to do? I've got a, uh, what is this, cobalt blue, dark zine purple, and turquoise, and just the tiniest bit of pink, I think, I'm going to do. So, being as I want to stay on this side, I want to put my puddles on this side. I think I should add some gold. Mm. How's that? Okay, so now you want to cover, make a white circle around. dryer and it's harder to remember that because it goes so fast you're focused on everything else but just wiggle it and it makes it a nice pattern
I'm going to blow. When you blow, it creates a little white hole. Um, and it, I like the way it looks. Because um, right now it's just like a solid mass. And it looks semi-flowery, but when you blow, you get to kind of design it a little bit. So here goes nothing. gives you the wispy edges. know if I did very good at the blowing this time that's I'm working on it I'm not real great at it so this middle part looks a little bit weird I'm gonna just gonna try to fix that I guess okay that's better I think I mean, the mix is good. I can tell. It's just my actual technique. I'm going to see what happens. Much better. Okay. Whew. Much, much better. Okay, I think I better leave it alone. Okay, I'm going to do a little torch here. My torch is giving me problems. happening that's fine it's still very pretty just that one spot I want to blow on it so bad but I'm afraid to mess it up but this looks so good maybe I'll use the blow dryer on that one spot oh yes okay now it's perfect now I know I said because when I started, I put my paint on the side and I wanted kind of a negative space over here. But this white, I guess you'd call it, negative space in between the wispies, the reason I wanted the negative space is because I want to embellish. I want to put like, I've already done a butterfly, but I'd like to put uh, maybe a dragonfly on it. And so it gives it a nice spot if it has a little white there. So I can still see how pretty a dragonfly would be on that. Wouldn't, don't, wouldn't that be pretty guys? Oh my gosh. 
Yay! I figured out Dutch pour. And thank you, Renska Duna, for uh, making such great videos. They're very entertaining. She's so sweet and nice. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, stay tuned if you want to see how I mix the paint to this consistency. Because I went ahead and filmed it because I felt like I figured it out. And uh, so you guys can make this too. I just did two Dutch pours and they worked the right way. And I'm like, yes, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a third one. I'm gonna add a couple other colors. Um, and I wanted to, now that I've got the mix down, I wanted to share it with you how I mixed it. Um, and plus I wanna say hi. So, okay, I'm gonna bring the camera down. I don't have uh, in gram measurements, but I'm just gonna show you what I did. And it's kind of a feeling thing. I did use water and Lipitex pouring medium and the mix for the white because it's flow acrylic is a little bit different than the mix for the ones in here. So I'm going to move the camera down and I'm going to let you guys watch me mix these two colors and the white. Three colors. Okay, here we are. Alright, so I got clear cups hoping that you'd be able to see better. So the first thing I did was I have Liquitex pouring medium. You only need a little bit of this. And it's just to add binders, so when you add water, it doesn't uh, dry with cracks. So I just put a little bit on the bottom, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and do purple first. Now I really don't need that much because I'm only planning on doing one painting with purple. So I'm gonna put in about that much to start with. I can always add more. And then I'm gonna add in uh, one cap of water. There's an overflowing cap of water. And mix, mix, mix. Now, it, it takes a minute to really like get it broken up. And it is a very thin consistency, but there's such a thing as too thin. So it needs to have, it's almost like it's, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's thin, but not watery. The bottom of this cup is not smooth. I didn't realize that, I've never mixed paint in these. Okay, so I still see little lumps. Those lumps will continue to thicken it once they get broken up. Because you only need a little bit of each color. You only create a puddle like that big at the most. So I don't need much more than this. Okay, so it's, it's a little thin because it's not creating any, this is a very dark color too, it's difficult to see. Maybe, I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna add a little bit more paint. That was a very little bit. Okay, that's good. Just to thicken it up a little bit. And I kind of scraped along the sides to get it mushed, mush those lumps. Okay, that's perfect. So, it just leaves the teeniest bit of a ring. Mm, I think that might be too thick. Let's see, it's it's, and I'm just gonna add a f a few drops. Okay. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Now, let's try with turquoise. Hopefully you guys can see. I just, I really like sharing with you guys the mix because the mix is where it's at. The mix is, 
is going, depending on what style you're doing, it's gonna determine how it comes out. So this being the Dutch pour, not cells, you want it to be, you guys see how much is in there of each? And then I'm gonna do a cap full of water. It determines how the blow dryer pushes it. And the goal is to get the blow dryer to make it look like soft petals. And I also learned just from doing those two um, that it, it works pretty good with the blow dryer on low. So keep in mind that it needs to be thin enough for your blow dryer to push it on low. Because when you go high, at least my blow dryer, um, on the blow dryer, it's way too fast, way too, uh, you know, strong of a wind. So keep in mind that you want your blow dryer to be on low. Oh, that's very thin. Okay, that's almost watery. Don't like that. More paint. Okay. Oops. So, I just watched a bunch of Rinska Duna's videos. She uh, has, you know, I, I know you guys have seen her. She's the Dutch pork queen, right? So, and I'm like, I have got to figure this out. It's gonna drive me crazy. I mean, I had one really good success, which I'll show you. If you guys haven't seen the video, I, um, one good success, here it is. A pretty baby here, I resined it. And, um, and then I tried it after that and couldn't get it. Couldn't get it as good. So here I am. All right, so that thickened it up to perfect, okay? Now I'm gonna come closer. You guys can see. I'm gonna do that a few times. See, it leaves a trace and sinks immediately. Okay, all the lumps gone. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix some white because you use um, about, well, the canvas I'm using is a 10 by 10 gallery wrapped. So just to cover the canvas by itself, it's almost a full cup of white right here. And then when you add the ring of white around it, it's about a half a cup. So I need to make more white. I, I have some in there, so I'm just gonna make one. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing and it's a full cup of white, so more pouring medium, and it's also flow acrylic, which is a looser paint, so a lot of white, and I can always thin it out, because I need a full cup of white. A little more pouring medium, just so we don't have to worry about any cracking, and let's go with a little pour of white here. All right, let's see how that goes. Get that good and mixed, and then we'll decide. Does it need more water? Does it need more paint? But no more pouring medium. The flow acrylic does mix faster, and it's not lumpy. So that's nice. This is gonna be too thick, but I'm gonna continue to mix it all the way before I add any more water. Guys, let me know if you like like watching me mix the paint. I know a lot of people, um, YouTubers, don't show that part, but it really is the it really is the reason. You know, for cells, I use glue and flow trawl. I did a video on that mixed with me. For that's for cells. This is for a Dutch pour. So it's different. Okay, so this is still too thick. 
It's getting there though, so a little more water. And when you put your white on the canvas, you can kind of practice with your blow dryer, you know, just on low. And because it's kind of a one shot deal, once you turn that blow dryer onto the color, you get what you get. You really do. And uh, you can't keep blowing on it, you know, very much. It's just going to make the colors mix. Need a little more water because that trace isn't disappearing right away. Okay, I'm there. I got it. Now I know it's hard for you guys to see because it's white, but you want the same consistency between all the paints because if it's more loose on one paint color than another, um, it won't blow the same, the colors the same because one is thicker and one is thinner, you know, so it won't blow them the same. Okay, so there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm going to go to the painting table. Yay! You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.